Welcome back to my favorite series on this channel. Bold exploits his younger self's pastimes for YouTube content. I've shown you my old comics, my old stories, and even my old stop motions. But now I think it's finally time for the cringiest of all. And believe me, I don't use that word lightly. So, <laughs> I was clearing out some old files on my computer the other day when I came across a bunch of really weirdly named PowerPoint presentations. Namely, Ben 10 Adventure Part 1. Now, any normal person who saw those files would probably immediately assume their computer has caught the digital equivalent of a terminal illness, but I clicked on it. And oh god, I remember. I remember it all. So before we begin, I think I should probably give you a bit of a backstory on what the hell I was doing with my life before I started YouTube. As I said, I grew up watching YouTube, which is what inspired me in the first place. And so I had all of these ideas in my head without any proper creative outlet to express them. I was also a massive fan of sprite animation, like Mario Bros Z, Final Fantasy Sonic, and stick figure animations and all that, but obviously had zero talent and skill to do with animation. And the best I could do was the minimum requirement for what's legally classified as an animation on Pivot. So what was a boy to do? Well, use PowerPoint and Google Images to tell a story, of course. What? No, no one, no one else did that? What? So, yes, the precursor to my YouTube days and also probably a helpful explanation as to why so many of my earlier videos were just straight up slideshows is that I spent a lot of time making fanfiction animations in Microsoft PowerPoint. I'll, I'll give you a minute to laugh at me. You done? No? Oh, okay. Now, why am I telling you this and embarrassing myself in front of thousands of people? Well. It's because these things were a pretty big part of my childhood. And you do not want to know how long it took to make them. Just do not ask. However, I wouldn't say that I wasted my time with them, because if I hadn't used up all of that precious childhood time that I'll never get back, I probably wouldn't have even started YouTube in the first place. The hard work and patience required to produce them, and the many editing tricks I had to learn in order to get things to work, contributed pretty heavily to what I do today. But the many, many slideshows I did that are in the same vein as videos are not really what I'm here to show you, because that'd be boring. Instead, I wanted to show you the ones that tell a story. The ones that read like awful, Awful fanfiction. The flash animations I wanted to make, but never could. I present to you, my old animations. Or animatics, I don't know, no one was gonna click on my old slideshow, so give me a break. Anyway, back to Ben 10 Adventure. You are not prepared for what I'm about to show you. Now, bear with me here, these are a lot older and way before I started to get a bit more creative, so just, just hold on, alright? I love having the Omnitrix. Whoa, I want him on my watch. Forums! So, already like two slides in and I'm already confused. Ben seems to think this is a Pokemon battle when he has to beat the shit out of his opponent to get his DNA sample. Also Sonic. Also Sonic. Scratch my watch or I'll make you pay. <laughs> Who are you? You guys think the Star Wars prequels are bad dialogue? Jesus Christ. So then Sonic calls in Tails and nopes the hell out of there as our homicidal 10 year old protagonist looks for more unsuspecting hedgehogs to scratch his watch. That sounds like a horrible euphemism now that I say it out loud. Curse you hedgehog thingy. He looks better though. Oh no. Not Shadow. Unfortunately for Ben, and fortunately for us, Shadow escapes, and then Ben runs around some more. Apparently the entire plot of this is just Ben trying to find aliens, wow. He then runs into a chain chomp, and nopes the hell out of there again, before finding a Game Boy. Which he tries to destroy? What? Look, I know I created these, but I'm just as confused as you guys are, okay? So Ben the massive asshole destroys some poor guy's lost Game Boy that he probably went looking for, creating a huge explosion. A really, really huge explosion. God, Ben should know that all Game Boys run on nuclear reactors, jeez. After 30 minutes of running. So then Ben runs into... Megatron. Dun dun dun! Shut up me, you're not funny! Ben flees, only to run into a very small and easily avoidable wall, and so turns into Stinkfly. But then he suddenly transforms back and plummets to his death. For a very, very long time. Jeez, how high did he go? Stupid guy thinks he's so cool. Yep, found it. There's my new favorite quote. Whenever I see someone accomplishing something that I really want to do, Stupid guy thinks he's so cool. Neil Armstrong went on the moon, Stupid guy thinks he's so cool. And then Ben falls to his death and explodes. The end. So, for the record, that was made in 2010. Which would have made me about... Eight-ish, I think. And you bet I made a sequel. No! Yes! Now, the big explosion didn't actually happen. That was just for fun. Oh, boo! Boo! So Ben falls into a portal that was just there, I guess, and becomes older. 
Wow, I have aged. Wow, Prime looks heaps better in this dimension. That's the entire encounter, by the way. That That's it. Not again, and there's heaps more. Run! I hope my Omnitrix still works. So Ben blows them up and puts them to sleep, apparently. What is this place? And there's just... A pterodactyl there. Is, is that supposed to be impressive? Because Ben has seen way weirder things literally seconds ago. And then, disaster struck. It's peanut butter jelly time. No! Oh god, no! So then an explosion happens, and then another chain jump appears, but then turns into a humongous sword, and then a bigger chain jump appears, and the accident hurts. I'm back! What an adventure! Ben! There you are! Me and Grandpa have looked everywhere for you! Where have you been? Nowhere special. Yay! Now, apparently there are two more, but only God knows what horrors they contain because they are remaining unopened. I do not want to see any more. Oh, except there's one more after that. Oh, yes. But this one was a bit special. Ben 10 Interactive Adventure. Master your destiny. Pick your path. Choose your adventure. That's right. Would you believe that choose your own adventures? I know. How amazing was I? Everyone give it up for eight-year-old Bolt. For those who don't know, PowerPoint has a hyperlink system where you can make little shortcuts to other slides. I really can't think of any use for it normally, but I found a way to abuse the hell out of it. Telltale sure is lucky I didn't do any more of these or they would have been out of business way sooner. I start charging for these. You are Ben Tennyson, a 16-year-old hero. Kevin asked you to investigate a museum full of aliens. Can you survive? Jeez, just getting straight into it there. Oh shit, here's our first choice. So Kevin told me it was here. Better investigate, or should I wait for them? So we can either wait, or we can go investigate. Okay, well, naturally, Kevin told us to wait, so we wait. So clicking on that immediately gives you a sensory overload as you are suddenly met with my best attempt at decorating the background. This also reveals to us that this adventure takes place not in just the Ben 10 universe, but the fanfiction.net verse, where every character from everything ever just coexists, apparently. Like ho -Oh, Tails, Maxwell, and... Oh, no. Not again. Waiting is boring. Huh? What's this? <laughs> so apparently I lost because Megatron transforms and kills me, I guess. Let's be honest here, the best part is my young self attempt at shopping in a reaction from Ben. Oh my god. Okay, investigate it is then. Sorry, Kevin. Okay, so we're met with two doors. Well, I mean, right is always right. Right? Nope, okay, it just leads to a giant spike death pit. You know, naturally, what museum doesn't have a giant spike death pit? Man, if only Ben could transform into something that could fly, you know? Left door then, and we're met with Freezer. Was he just standing behind the, the door? What? All right, so it gives me the choice of either Swamp Fire or Way Big to fight him. Well, I mean, Way Big, of course. Which was a good choice, clearly, because it turned Freezer into a 13-year-old girl. Now we either have to punch or laser. If you choose punch, you beat the shit out of Freezer and then use the laser anyway. Ben just nonchalantly murders the most notorious Dragon Ball Z villain. Okay, then. Do we want to go left or right? Okay, right this time. And uh, apparently, Vilgax is there. Are we, are, are we still in a museum? Oh yeah, Diamond Head or Cannonball, my favorites. But yeah, no, Diamond Head is still cooler. So Ben somehow thinks that shooting diamonds at Vilgax is a viable combat strategy, so we can either choose to do the exact same thing again that clearly was not working, or change to another alien. Jeez, man, what have you got against Diamond Head? If you shoot again, Vilgax just Ganondorfs your ass into oblivion, so clearly Cannonball is the way to go. Even that doesn't work, so we can either, once again, do the exact same thing or turn ultimate. Jeez, I wonder what happens if I choose to roll again. Yep. So turning ultimate causes Cannonball to fling a PNG of himself at Vilgax, breaking his face and injuring his chest for some reason. And that's it. That's all it took. Then we get the fantastic ending. Ben, where were you? I told you to wait. Long story short, I won. And that's it. <laughs> Why is Rush around there? In case you're wondering what happens if you pick Swamp Fire for whatever reason, you still end up shocking Freezer by transforming. You know, not like he'd have any experience with changing shape at all, nope. And you get the option to punch him or shoot a fireball. Punching him will prompt Vegeta to come flying from somewhere, and then you either leave and let Vegeta do everything or help him out. Doing the heroic thing gets you quickly murdered. Great message there, me. So you have to run, and Ben just gets the hell out of there as quickly as he can. Then you get another left and right choice. God, there's just so many branching paths. Left apparently means going right back to where Frieza was, where he prepares to kill you just as he has Vegeta. How did you not notice that, Ben? What did you do, a 360 turn and go right back? Also, this means canonically that your decision to run away results in Vegeta getting killed. So bravo, Ben. Great hero. Oh, and going left down the way big path results in you running into Ghost Napper, which 
kills you for some... What? Okay, next up we get some actual animations. Animations. <laughs> I made these many years after when my PowerPoint skills had gotten even stronger. And these ones more closely resemble the sprite animations that I love so much. Many of these were my attempt at making my own death battles like Goku vs Sonic, Tahu vs Furno, or Superman vs Goku, oh no. And others were self-contained stories that told full-on narratives. I haven't seen these for years, so I cannot wait to see how poorly they've aged. Batman vs. Everyone, hell yeah! Now, I've never really mentioned before that I went through a very brief Batman phase as a kid, where Batman was the coolest thing ever, and Batman was love, and Batman was life, and Batman would solo Goku in a fight. I made this series where Batman fights everyone ever, I guess, in a tale so epic it just had to be split into two parts. And oh boy, that sure is everyone. Here we go! Are you sure this'll work? Of course it'll work, it's my plan! So we have Eggman assembling the strongest villains in the galaxy. Dr. Wily, Bowser, and the, the Joker. One of these things is not like the other- As soon as I press this button, the satellite I set up will shoot a beam into the Earth and put everyone under our control. Even... Chuck Norris. Oh god, that really shows the age here, huh? So, why is it only the four of us? Actually, it was meant to be Eggman, Bowser, and I. We have no idea why you're here. Yeah, only the three of us want best villain. HA! <laughs> I mean, the first part of the plan worked. Yeah, I can't believe we managed to pull everyone from their worlds. So, the basic plot here, from what I can gather, is that these four managed to steal heroes from their universe, somehow, as we see in this fantastic flashback. What a great day! Look, can I just press the button? Yes, I can't wait to have Mario working for me. Okay, ready? Just press it! Why didn't it- <laughs> Woo, this is awesome! Huh? What's that? Cool. I am at your command, masters. We have reached the peak of storytelling, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent, it's working perfectly. Let's go check out more people. And ah, uh, look, Eggman gave the Joker his own little Eggmobile. That's cute. A few minutes later, we have the assembled brainwashed heroes, including Chuck Norris, because god damn it. And in case you're wondering, yes, these are all separate images. Yes, I've been waiting for this all day. We all have, idiot. No, they got Minecraft, Steve! But something is amiss. The Joker realizes they see everyone except for Batman. But nobody seems to give a shit because they have Superman and Goku at their disposal, so who really cares? Little did these guys know, they should never underestimate the power of the author's favorite character. And so, we finally meet Batman. Hello? Anyone there? If anyone's planning to sneak up on me, I'll beat you up. I'm Batman. Sup? Hello, Spider-Man. Hi. Okay, what's going on here? Tell me. I'm Batman. Hello? Superman? Whoa! And then we get an epic fight scene displayed through the amazing power of pressing the forward arrow key a lot. I don't want to have to hurt you guys. Try it! <laughs> oh shit, that's some sass from Goku. Ah, Batman, you've somehow resisted our control. Somehow. Give it up for that amazing writing, folks. I'm Batman. Oh wait, never mind, that makes complete sense, never mind. Indeed you are. Oh well, I'll have to destroy you. Get him! So somehow, Batman meets the shit out of everyone, including Superman, but I actually gave an explanation for that one. Kryptonite ring, you're beat. Well done, Batman, you've managed to defeat everyone. Somehow. Okay, well, at least I knew this was bullshit. I like how Goku just explodes. But wait, they're back! But then it turns out that Mega Man was free from Wily's control too, and escapes. I have to figure out what's going on, but I'll figure out a way. Because I'm Batman. Wait, why am I talking aloud? Oh, there he is. And there's your epic cliffhanger. You guys ready for the second part? No, you aren't. So we get a little recap from last time. One person resisted the attack. Batman. It's now up to Batman to defeat the villains, free everyone, and save the multiverse. Go, Batman, go! Batman flees as Goku and Superman chase him until he finds a teleport button. Ah, a teleport button. Bye-bye. God, it really is hard to say that in a Batman voice. Bye-bye. I wonder what's taking Wily so long to dispose of Batman. I knew I should have gone! Hi. I'm Batman. That was weird. One moment there was a red flash of light and now I'm here. Well, if it isn't the blue bomber! Long time no see! Sonic, do you know what is happening? No idea! Everything's happening so fast! Like me! I thought I saw Dr. Wily. Maybe he's behind this. 
What do you think caused the dimensional disturbance? I thought we fixed all that. You never know with villains like ours. Run, 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 run. Eggman, there's a glitch in the laser. Anyone from our dimension isn't affected. That's how Batman escaped. Oh shit, that actually makes sense. Well played, me. Well played. And then after an explosion, the true heroes arrive. Hell yeah. Don't worry, Doc. We got it from here. Brainwashing laser beam. There's a satellite dish. That's... That's how they're transmitting the brainwashing. Just a regular satellite dish. <laughs> there you are! Now prepare to die! Oh shit, Goku's back. Wait, wouldn't Superman be exempt from the laser as well? Because he and Batman are from the same unit, no? So how does Batman best these two fighters? Well, with the oldest trick in the goddamn book. Wait, which one of you two would win in a fight? Obviously me! Uh, no, me. No, me! Minions! Get him! Oh shit, finally here we go. We get Batman versus everyone. How in the shit did they brainwash Godzilla? Is that Slender Man? No. Batman, this is Sonic the Hedgehog. We've hacked into Eggman's computers to contact you. Who? Never mind, been busy at the moment. We've discovered what's going on. Eggman has enslaved everyone with a laser beam from a satellite from space. So I have to go into space? Possibly. We'd help out, but we've got our hands full. Every villain's hideout turns out to be a rocket or something. Use that. Good luck! Ah! Yes, after besting all of those people, it's a bullet from Master Chief that puts Batman down. In a few hours, the beam will become permanent! Hurry up! Stop shooting me! Oh, I bet you're probably already aware, but Eggman sent everyone, literally everyone, to get you. Have fun! Yay me! <laughs> and then we get the fight scene of the ages! What do I do? This is your final warning! Surrender or we're gonna take you down! Ha ha ha! You actually expect us to just surrender? Bring it on, you can't stop us! Keep them occupied, I'll go get armed! I did it! I won! By the way, all of these actually just look like this. I just tried to make them more exciting by adding sound effects and the like. You're welcome. Oh wait! I'm getting out of here! Look dude, if I saw Minecraft Steve, I'd get the hell out of there too. I'm running out of time! First, I'll destroy this! Then, I'm going to space! Not so fast, Batbrain! Get over here! And then Batman blows him up. Ah, stupid useless Spidey sense! It's on, Bats! You're going down! Uh-oh. And then Batman presumably murders Peter Parker for reasons unknown to all of us. Now space! Not so fast! You really think you can win? It's all over! Give up! Never! Then die! Get a load of this! He said it! He said the thing, I'm going to crush you like the insect you are! Can't move! Uh-oh! I can just slip out. What?! Yes! Now it's my turn! Finally, I can see! Huh? Where'd he go? He just disappeared! It doesn't make any sense! Actually, I know how to find him. Huh? You? And with a smoke, tear, gas, sleep, whatever grenade, Batman knocks Eggman the hell out. Bat sleeping gas works every time! Now, how do I control this thing? Whoa! Okay, that's to control left and right, and that's to go up. Finally, Godzilla! Whoa, Godzilla, now is not the time! Aww. To space! Whoa! Bye bye. Seriously, these lines do not work in a Batman voice. Now, back to Earth! What's that in the sky? It's a him, a Batman! It's getting closer! Uh oh. I'm back. Man! And so the day is saved and everyone returns home by portals that just appeared, I guess. That should be everyone! Now let's get the bad guys and ourselves back home! Okay, goodbye Sonic! Nice saving the world with you! Ciao, Batman! <laughs> Ciao! Wah! Get back here! Later, loser! Eggman! Sonic, we ready to go? Oh no! What portal was back to Mobius? Dun dun dun! Wait, hold on. Equestria invasion? No, 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 I'm not- I'm not a brony. I'm not a brony. So yes, there's another trilogy and a half to cover after that, both of which are much, much bigger than Batman vs. Everyone. But doing that Batman voice completely killed my throat, so I'll have to save that for another time. Just before we wrap this video up, let's take a look at some of the actual fight scenes that I did. So going back a few years before now, I pit two characters against each other and had them duke it out in the most epic way possible, using still images from Google. Now, I eventually ended up using sprites, but many of these earlier ones just straight up use pictures because there weren't any sprites available for them. I mean, I, I was 13. I don't know if that's if that makes it better or worse. Yeah, no, Vegeta versus Shadow should be good. I wonder if this has anything to do with the death battle that had Vegeta win. What is that? No, seriously, what? H who are you? I am Vegeta, Prince of all Saiyans. Now get out of the way, rodent. I felt a powerful power level from around here. That would be me. Yeah! You? Ha 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 ha! Don't make me laugh. 
I am Shadow, the ultimate life form. Blah, 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 fight! Huh? Let's see how he likes this. Where'd he go? Take this! Oh no, he'll destroy everything. Well, easy fix. Chaos control! That did it. Guess again. Oh, come on! Oh my god, this is like the shittiest Sonic fanboy dream of all time. Holy crap. Prepare to die! What are you? <laughs> How do you like me now? You're dead, rat! What's he doing? What was. Where'd he? Nice try, Hedgehog, but you can't beat me. Agugag. Not this time. Now who's winning? Excellent battle dialogue. Very good. No! I won't lose to you, Big Bang. Chaos. Attack! Blast! Time to finish this. No! Yes! Maria! <laughs> Oh shit, Vegeta actually won. I, I was not expecting that. And I made it. <laughs> and at the end there, I showed the sprite sheets I had to individually crop the sprites from. Now you know why these took like two months each to make. Okay, I think we have time for one more. And of course, baby, it's Goku versus Superman. Right off the bat, getting those fanboys off my back. No kryptonite, no Super Saiyan God, because there weren't any sprite sheets available at the time, so sure. And no fusions, let's go. Well, according to that letter, my next opponent is Superman. Hello, are you Son Goku? Yep, that's me. I assume you're Superman then. Correct. Nice to meet you. I've been looking forward to this. Fight! <laughs> Looks like we're pretty evenly matched. That's for sure. Try this! Okay, you've proven that I can't beat you in my regular form, so I'm gonna try Super Saiyan! Whoa, how did you- Oh no you don't! Okay, so even regular Super Saiyan won't do it for you. Again? Really? Try Super Saiyan 3! What happened to your eyebrows? And hair? Okay, back to fighting. We're not getting anywhere. We're too evenly matched. Nah, -uh. <laughs> I still got one trick up my sleeve. You're gonna transform again, aren't you? Yup. This is your last transformation, right? Yup. We got Super Saiyan 4, boys. Woo! Okay, let's finish this. Let's do this. This is heading nowhere. Superman really, really just wants to go home. You already said that. Tired? Not at all. Bring it on. Now that I think about it, I am tired. I won't be able to hold this form for much longer. I feel like this is a good time to mention that I never finished Dragon Ball GT. Just throwing that one out there. No, not now. Oh no. Dude. Glad that's over. That guy was really nice and kind of cool, and I am comfortable with the fact that I just ended his life. You have to give me some credit. I was fair with the outcome. I didn't always pick the person that I wanted to win to be the victor. Thank God I didn't have any means of uploading these to the internet. You know I would have put them on DeviantArt and would have probably gotten a lot of comments telling me how shit they were. That would be a scary alternate universe. Okay, so you've probably made it this far into the video and are thinking, Bolt, these are terrible and all, but none of them are actual animation. Well, you're in luck, because I actually did animate one of these. And yes, I mean actual animation this time. And I even uploaded this one to my channel back in 2014. Sonic versus Rainbow Dash. Oh god, no. Fight. So that was... a thing? <laughs>
And yes, in case you're wondering, each individual frame was done in PowerPoint. Because I hate myself, that's why. After trying to imitate far, far better work, naturally the next step was to actually go ahead and animate it. And you can see just how much I'd improved from just Google Images. Honestly, I make fun of it, but I think I came a long way. But because of me getting a YouTube account and focusing all my efforts on that, I never continued working on my sprite animation hobby. Who knows? Maybe I would have actually made something good one day if I'd kept at it. But I think it's a good idea to leave it to the people who actually know what they're doing. Anyway, we've only scratched the surface of how many of these things I made, because holy crap, there's so many of them. So I'm gonna call it a video before this becomes like half an hour long. Probably gonna have to make this a trilogy if I wanna cover all of these. If you wanna see the rest of my PowerPoint animation fanfiction thingies, then be sure to let me know in the comments. And believe me, you do not wanna miss Equestria Invasion and Fall of Mobius. Trust me on this one. Thanks for watching and laughing at me, probably. Probably, probably that last one. See ya!